Welcome to our video tutorial where we illustrate an ActiveX list box and a macro associated with its click event. A list box, as you can see here, is a list of items from which a user can select. We select Tracy here. It facilitates in accepting data from the users and making entries in an Excel worksheet. This list box, which is being displayed here, is a single selection list box, which allows selection of a single item only. We can select only one item at a time here. Now we go to the Visual Basic Editor. This is the macro associated with the click event of the list box. This macro is triggered on clicking the control, the list box and it must be located in the code module of the worksheet containing the list box. So this is, this macro is located in sheet one, which contains the list box. On the top of the code module, we have on the left, all the controls. We have list box one, which is available here. We select this. And on the right drop, uh, drop down box, we have all the events which are associated with this list box. We have the change event, click, double click, etc. Here we are presently viewing the click event for which we have written a, an event handler sub procedure, which is being displayed here. Now let's run through this macro or procedure which will be executed on clicking or selecting an item in the active X control list box one, which we just checked on the worksheet. Now this list box is being used to calculate the body mass index and to categorize a person's weight, underweight representing uh, BMI of less than 18 and a half and so on. We start with an error statement here, then the dim statements. We set the range to 810, where our final result is, uh, will be displayed. We resize the range to include two columns. On the right, and we merge the cells. So our final range is A10 to C10. Now BMI is being calculated in column D. Here, this is BMI. We have this formula for the BMI here in column D, which is the fourth column. The bound column for the list box is four, which is the column from which value is stored when a row is selected by the user. So when we use the value property for the list box, the BMI will be returned. So now here we evaluate all the BMIs. The BMI variable If BMI value is less than 18.5, the categorization is underweight. If the BMI is 18.5 and above, but less than 25, then it is classified as normal weight. A BMI of 25 and above, but less than 30 is classified as overweight. BMI of 30 and above is classified as obese. The range variable, the RNG variable, is where the final result is displayed. We have set the font to bold, the interior color of the cell to green. We have centered the text horizontally within the range. And the final result, the range will display the text property, the text value of the list box. The text column for the list box is specified as one. 
which is column A from which value the text property of list box is supplied. So here we have the range will be populated by the name and the final BMI classification. Now returning back to the worksheet, let's select Albert. The value property is being displayed here and the final result, the name and the final B, uh, uh, classification for that BMI is displayed here. If we select Tracy, we get the new classification. So we can select any item in the list. We have selected Mary here. So we have got this classification. This is how we use a list box on a worksheet. We hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and you found it useful. Thank you.